and maybe a little bit early. It might perk up a little bit in about 10, 15 minutes' time. But that's the state of play in County Antrim. OZ1W with the group GI0HWO. GI0HWO with the group OZ1W. Well, my noise level has dropped down to F1. Uh, John, you're 5 and 9, sir. You're 5 and 9, PTS 9. So uh, I find it very hard to understand why you don't hear me better. Uh, but a bit of QSB. Gary, um, who came up a little bit with me. Sorry to hear about your weather, Gary. Well, it's wall to wall sunshine here. And uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a very, very hot day again. Very little breeze. And uh, 20 degree outside. And uh, I will. Uh, I will if all of that goes according to plan to get the front tonight, so I'll carry John Barry to if any of you are around. Uh, I'd appreciate the report uh, Maritime Mobile on on the stand. Uh, have a round archer time or just a bit before if, uh, if you happen to be around. I presume you're not planning on going out portable tonight, uh, Terry, but let me know if you are. Anyway, uh, other than that, not a lot to, not a lot to, more to report here. Uh, got, to, got to do some stuff in the garden today, that's for sure. But um, I, I think the, uh, I don't know, John, it was difficult last night. You were very loud last night, it was 20 over 9, but then so were the static crashes. I'm not sure if you may not be uh, a touch over compressed now, but it's, uh, it, it's difficult to tell. Um, and uh, it, uh, that's being ultra, ultra critical. But I don't know, it'll be interesting to know what Terry thinks, from Barry thinks as well. Thank you, Terry, and I uh, hope the signal's picked up a little bit. Should get better as time goes on, of course. Uh, but I don't think you missed a lot. I was basically talking about balance losses and um, an area and things like that. So, uh, uh, but nothing that we haven't already talked about or confirmed in emails, Terry. Um, G4 POP and the group OZ1. Yeah, G4 POP and the group. Yeah, okay, yeah, Graham, you came up that time. They're up to about five and nine now. So uh, hopefully you're getting the same from me. And uh, Barry, you're five nine. Join you about 10 over 9, so nice signal. I'll do recording on the next over. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's a fair bit of QSB on you, uh, Graham, for a while. But as the time goes on, you're, uh, you're coming up all the time, which is good. Anyway, weather here is about 20 degrees at the moment and dry, and uh, a little bit of haze. Not much. Looks like the morning's going to be good, but we have got rain forecast for the result of so I guess we're going to get what you've got, Barry. Um, starting about uh, 3 o'clock, I think. So I shall uh, whip the aerials out about that time, because I think there's going to be some thunder mixed in with it, as was the other day, which is uh, not healthy. But, uh, yeah, it was a uh, I got sunburn yesterday, Graham. <laughs> I had a hat on, but uh, I got sunburn. And I also got bitten again on my hand. Luckily, this time, it didn't make my whole body erupt. Um, like the... Uh, the last few occasions, but I did take an antihistamine anyway, just to be cautious. So there we are, it's about all, nothing on the radio front bed, you've got your uh, 7 3 double O's grab, and uh, yeah, it's nice and easy to transfer data, isn't it, nowadays between radios, you think how it used to be, <laughs> reprogram, reprogram all the memories by hand on the old radios is not easy, uh, in fact, uh, I, I, I wouldn't do it. Even on the Pro 3, I wouldn't do that because it was a pain in the butt. So, not much else from me, so I'll pass you around to Barry, and uh, I will make a recording for you, John, um, on the next, on your next over. I'll send you up the whole uh, Audacity pack, and then you can uh, see it as well as hear it. GLHQJ, G4, POP. GLHQJ. It's weird. Um, I've got... Hack Green working uh, on the side here, uh, Terry. You're not on Hack Green at all. Nothing, absolutely nothing. But Graham is 5 plus on Hack Green. But he's uh, not very good with me at the moment. He came up to 5-5 five five with me, uh, Graham. Very strange, very strange. John 5-9, no problems at all. And... Uh, yeah, I'm getting sunburned, so you've got to be careful there. I wish we had the sun here. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. The only good thing about it is it does the garden for well, because I'm going down to the the garden centre to take it some more small plants for the, uh, the hanging baskets, etc. But glad you had a good day yesterday. Yeah, I'll, I'll be around this evening. I was around last night and I didn't hear you at all last night. 
I can't well pretty much see you were on uh, crime, John. But, but um, I was around about seven o'clock having a tune around. Do you hear a thing? Apart from the big um, old net and this, that and the other. So there we go. Right, I'm, I'm uh, once more around then I'm going to disappear. Go and have some brekkie and another cup of tea and get myself sorted. Then I'm off down to some 2D, which is about five miles away. And, uh, ah, that's five, was it? Right, OK. Um, so there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a, a nursery down there that does some um, garden centre, basically. Does plants and this, that and the other. So I've got, I'm going to go down there today and uh, once the rain's gone through, I think it gets a brick brighter. <laughs> GI Zero HW, the, the audio today sounds no problems at all, John, so uh, um, I can't really comment, but uh, just uh, tell you, record it for you, perhaps, perhaps you'll confirm it. GI Zero HW in the group, Jet HQ, John. GI Zero HW, yep, OK, Barry, well, you came up. Uh... You came up a little bit there. Uh, Terry, you were very loud at one point. You were 10 over 9, but you slipped back a little bit, so it's fairly unstable. Graham, you're a good 5 and 9 here. Um, but I, I would, would appreciate the uh, the comments or the uh, the audacity recording, Terry. Uh, Graham, it's on 6 at the moment, which I, I was a little bit worried last night. I thought it was probably going to be a little bit high, and that may be the case. But uh, you're doubtless listening with... Uh, your bat-like ears and uh, will tell me what what it sounds like uh, now uh, on the six. And I'll, I'll just turn it down to five, Graham. Hang on a second. Let's just turn it down a tad. Right, that's down to five now, Graham. I'll leave it there for the moment, and uh, you can see if you can notice any difference. But certainly the uh, the mic gain is, is 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 up compared to where it was. So uh, I don't know, but it's very difficult with these conditions. It's all over the place. Um, it's turning into a lovely day up here, I'm pleased to report. I am much impressed. Long may it last. OZ1W with the group, GI0HWO. GI0HWO with the group from OZ1W. Well, I think 6 sounds like absolutely fine. Uh, John, as far as I'm concerned, you have dropped a little bit, but uh, you were at one time over S9, so I got a good listen to it and I got the headphones on. Uh, I think personally, when you went down to five, it, it lacked a little bit of punch presence, call it what you like, and DX capability. I would personally have it at six, but uh, you'll, you'll no doubt uh, uh, hear the recording and make your, mind, make your own mind up. Anyway, all those who carry it out this evening, um, yeah, well, if it's nice weather, I think I'll. Uh, I'll head down to the boat. I don't think I'll go out sailing. I think uh, I'll, I'll tie it out, uh, you know, tied up in the marina. Um, but I will be around at about archer time. And uh, John, I'll take uh, I'll take your mobile number with me, um, your phone number with me on, the, uh, on my uh, mobile, so that uh, if we have a problem, I can give you a quick call. But uh, looking forward to the, uh, the test. Uh, so uh, I don't think there's much more from me. I'm going to sign. Uh, I'll let you know how I get on with the. Um, uh, with the, uh, the, the, the cuttings, Terry, I don't really understand why they've decided to uh, group. Um, but anyway, they'll, they'll maybe pick up. The only other thing I've read somewhere is that it's good to uh, put a plastic bag over them uh, with a couple of holes in to uh, provide a humid environment. I haven't done that. Um, but I've got some more cuttings here which I've taken, which are in jam jars at the moment of water, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll try and maybe the, the plastic bag treatment with those and see if they work any better. Anyway, thanks very much to everybody for the chat to see you this morning. Lovely. Uh, thanks, John, for the, uh, for the Skype chat and the, uh, and the chat on the air last night. And uh, you certainly a good signal this morning, and uh, it sounds absolutely fine to me. Uh, G4 Papa, Oscar Papa, Oscar Zulu Ron Whiskey on Falster Island signing. Back uh, listening once round. Uh, go ahead, Ted. Uh, G4 POP. OK, Graham, I'm going to sign as well on this over. And uh, you're still up and down a bit, but... Uh, and you're down to F7, F7 and up to 10 over 9, so uh, a bit variable this morning, but uh, all copied. And, uh, yeah, John, I've just dropped uh, the Audacity package into Skype for you, so when you turn your broadband back on, uh, it'll be in Skype. And uh, to give you some idea, and also uh, 
Simon has said that he's going to send you a video recording or screen recording of the uh, SDR and uh, with it will be the audio so you should get two different recordings and that should uh, put you on the right road. Okay, Dokey, yes, yeah, so we look forward to the rain this afternoon. I've been watching it for the last couple of days because it's uh, been a bit dry here and I don't want all those new, uh, the new plants we potted and basketed up to, uh, to die on me so I've been uh, washing quite frequently but a bit of rain will help. It always seems, everything seems to grow better, doesn't it, with rain water than it does with the water you, you chuck on them. Even if, if that water has come out of a, a rain, bar rain barrel or butt, water butt, it doesn't seem to work quite as well as the, the live rain. There you go. That's all from me. And uh, I'll pass you in the bay, but I'm going to go to your RTL. We'll adjust this around once, but I won't come back on this call. GLHQJ, G4, PO3, 73 all. Yeah, okay, sorry, just going up to just 10 over 9 on that, I just, no problems at all. Just, I can't hear you on the hack green. Can't hear Graham on the hack green. He comes up now and again. Um, so I, I can hear you direct. I can hear Graham direct, but not very good. And John, um, HRO is 5 9, no problems at all. So it's weird. Uh, very, <laughs> very weird conditions. I would have thought that green would have uh, served you a lot better after I am, but it's obviously not. It's only down to conditions, I think we all know that. And, uh, well, we have to put up with it, don't we? OK, I'm going to disappear as well. Cheers to you there, Terry. Cheers to you, Graham. Cheers to you, John. And uh, I will be around this evening. And uh, OK, I'm not all the information there, Graham, as well. We'll catch you later. GL0 HWR the group, Jad HQJ signing. Uh, just listening and going to RT. Bye bye. GI0 HWR, yeah, everybody's come up now. Your uh, you're 5 and 9, uh, Barry, absolutely no problem. So, my prediction of 10 to 15 minutes was about on the nail. All very loud here. Terry, I need to talk to you sometime. Not urgent, uh, regarding this um, Log4OM portable on the, uh, on the cloud. I've downloaded it and I sat here and thought, hmm, that's very good. What do I do with it now? So I'd, I'd like your views on the on the best way to do it, how to configure it on the cloud so that I can run it up there rather than uh, on the PC itself. Not that there's a problem running it on the PC. It works very well indeed. Uh, but it would be nice to be able to do that because I can have everything on the uh, on the main computer in here and on the uh, on the new laptop which continues to impress, as does this machine. I'm really pleased with this machine. I know people always say that when they bought a new piece of equipment because they want to justify their outlay, but it really is absolutely smashing. And uh, I, I'm very impressed with Windows 10. I never thought I'd say that about a, a, a Microsoft program, but uh, it's very, very good indeed. Right, I'm away. Graham, um, don't phone the mobile if you're out. F phone the home number. Uh, because the mobiles are very dodgy around here and I don't usually have it on when I'm at home. So the main number would be the best choice. And will you let me have your telephone number uh, on Skype or something? I tried to phone you the other evening because I had that problem with the uh, PC being in tablet mode and I, I didn't get anything. It was The number I've got is obviously completely wrong. So I would appreciate that. Right, have a good day, boys. I'm going to turn the router back on. Let that boot up and listen to what this audio sounds like. I'll probably be, uh, well, I'll either be impressed or I won't be. It's going to be one of the two, that's a certainty. 7-3 from sunny County Antrim. Looks like another nice day. OZ1W with the group, 7-3, GI0HWO. GI0HWO, H-W-O, and Z1W for final, final, still fine, John. Well, I think the audio sounds absolutely fine. Um, if I'm out uh, in the garden or doing things and the phone rings, uh, generally, uh, we probably don't hear it or don't answer it. Um, so, uh, but I'll give you the number just to make sure that you've got the right one. Otherwise, I'll give you my mobile number, John, so it's all noted about, uh, about the home phone. That's fine. Anyway, it's all been well this evening, and uh, uh, have a good time, Terry. Uh, I won't talk to you tonight, but I've got luck, Barry and John. 
uh, we might be able to make it from uh, from the boat. Look forward to it. G4 PLP, GNHQJ, GR0 HWO, OZ1 Dublin, South Carolina, signing, just checking, going to QRT, bye-bye. Can I just take it, Terry, quickly? Yeah, go ahead, John, I'll sign. Yeah, OK. Uh, Graham, I'll, I'll be on about quarter to seven, if that's OK, Roger. Yeah, OK, that's fine, John, yes, I should be set up and, uh, and dealt with by then. Um, if I'm delayed, I'll, uh, I'll give you a ring. Uh, I'll also send you a Skype message when I leave, um, so... Uh, uh, then you'll get an idea. It'll probably take me about a half an hour to get down to the boat and get the aerial set up. Uh, that's, so that's all it should take, John. Uh, and there's one got me back here. Yeah, OK, that's fine, Graham. I'll, I'll, I'll come in the shack a little bit earlier, um, you know, so we can make the most of the time you get down there. But let us know. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do whatever you require as regards times and uh, whether you're actually going or not. Seven three's all. I'm going to throw it up in the air and uh, disappear and turn the router back on. Golf India Zero Hotel, Whiskey Oscar in the County of Antrim, 7-3. Cheers to you there, John. You lovely flick on. To me, the LVO sounds fine. I prefer position six, actually, but that's only me for you, John. Go ahead. Yep, OK, Barry. I think I turned it... Yeah, it's back up at six. I turned it back up to six, so... Uh, I'll leave it there for a time and see what sort of reports I get, but uh, um, I like that presence. Graham says he's got more presence at six, and that's what I like. Catch you all later. I'm going to switch in routers. GI0HWO. Bye-bye.